Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about the state of JavaScript. Like what is happening in JavaScript ecosystem? What are the new things which is getting popularity, which is most popular framework and uh, which is becoming more and more popular comparative to other framework in the same segment like build tools, like a client-side framework, like server-side framework. All those things we are going to compare and we are going to review the results also. So this is the only survey available uh, from 2023, 2024 will be published in December. So let's talk about a couple of things on this. JavaScript started his life as a client-side JavaScript, right? But now it went on to conquer the server side with Node.js. And in 2023, it seems like ecosystem has a whole mighty finally be ready to try and bridge the gap between the features like React server side component, framework like Solid and Quick and Meta framework like Next.js and SwellKit. I mean, a lot is happening in JavaScript. I can see that over the year, like even if we compare 2023 to 2024, lots of new things has been posted. SwellKit and Next.js is getting more and more popular. And whatever we used to do with the client-side JavaScript, now we are moving things to the server side. Now that's another point, we should move it there and what should be the client side and what should be the server side. But yeah, things are moving and things are becoming more and more uh, foolproof. So this is about the front end framework, React, heard of it and I also used it. I'm using it now, Vue.js, I'm using it more than React. Angular, I used to use it, but now I'm using Nest.js, I'm not using Angular. Nest.js is a backend framework. React, I have heard it, never used it. Svelte is my really uh, a friend framework, you can say. If I want to build a something new, I will always use Svelte.js and Svelte Kit. Alpine, never, lit, never, solid, never, quick, never, stencil. Next, yes, meta framework. Yes, I had it, I used it. Next is actually uh, same as next, but from the Vue.js side, I, ha I have heard about it. Gatsby, I'm using it for all my bloggings. I'm using Gatsby portal, Remix. Heard it, but never used it. Swell kit, yes, this is my friend. I'm using it now. Lovely, testing, testing. I always use Jest. It's delightful. And after having Jest, I'm not even thinking of using any other library from it. Mocha, not going to use now. Storybook, I can use Cypress. Yes, for end-to-end -end test, I can still use Cypress. Puppeteer for uh, sometimes when, you, when I want to do data mining uh, on some web pages. Scrapping, I use it. Testing library, uh, we use it for the React, with React testing library to inspect the DOM. It can be used with Angular, React, or any framework. Playwright, no. Uh, never heard of it. all these other framework because when you are using something and you don't want to switch to any other else. Build tools are next. Webpack, yes, I have used it a lot since I started using a front-end framework. Parcel, Parcel, I had. Rollup, I have used with SwellKit. But I think now I started using ES Build Wit. Yeah. I think everywhere I'm using now Wit. Turbo Pack, never heard of it. Rest, I never heard of. Monorepo tools. I use lots of monorepos. I think Larna I have used and NX, Larna. I like Larna, NPM workspaces. I love them. NPM workspaces, PNPM workspaces. I all you I mean mostly use PNPM with NX. I mean, most of my projects are with the uh, NX, it's using NX monorepo solution with the workspaces being used with PNPM. Let's see the results now. Uh, we have already seen the questions for the common set of uh, tools, technologies, build tools and framework. I'm more interested on the libraries, okay? So here you can see the build tools, library experience and sentiments. These are all the NPM libraries and we can see Webpack is still ruling. I can see the heart of it and used. So the first graph is how many of are using, right? We can also talk about sentiments, experience, webpack, react, jest, wit. So whenever you build any application, let's say I want to build a front end simple single page app, what I will be using? A react, wit, jest, these libraries will automatically import it. So these are like most popular ones. Then if I want to write a SSR, I will just simply use the next CS because I don't know like, Next year's came first, became pop popular because of React, and now it's ruling. Next is front end framework. I can see React is still the king. Vue.js is rising. Angular is going down. Svelte is steady. I mean, it is making good progress. Rest I won't talk about. 
Vue.js React and Svelte is the main competitor here. Uh, the red one is Angular, it's going down. Maybe it will further go down, but Vue.js React and Svelte are still going to be there for future. Uh, next is Meta Framework, Next.js. Yes, so it came on right on time and getting good popularity. Gatsby is mostly popular for static rendering. Uh, I wish it could have got same popularity as Next.js. Next and Next are in competition, but Next is way ahead. Next, if we talk about testing, Jest is the king there. Nobody is coming close to that. I mean, Storybook has a different use case, but when it comes to the testing, either a React testing or Angular testing or any component testing or API testing, Jest is still there. Mobile and desktop, we'll talk about Electron. Electron is still there. Electron and React Native. Both are like uh, having good competition there. Build tools, I will say Webpack because Webpack came first and I think WIT should be giving a good fight. Yes, you can see the graph of the WIT. I mean, this is came recently and everybody is using it. That's why it's becoming popular and popular and it is gain gaining a lot of popularity. I mean, it will surpass Webpack soon that I can guarantee. Then we can talk about Monorepo tool. I'm using NX, so I will talk about it. NX and PNPM. Oh yes, PNPM workspaces are getting a good popularity. And I'm using both these combinations and they are way ahead. Lana came first, but not getting that much uh, attention. Turbo Repo, yes, Turbo Repo and Rust. So who is the winner here? Lana, NPM, Workspace, PNPM and NX. Yes. Uh, this one is my favorite. Uh, which backend framework? Express, Nest.js. Yes, Nest.js is gaining a lot of popularity. And if somebody asks me the question, then I will give a thumbs up for the Nest.js because I'm a Nest.js developer built on top of Express. I don't like to write unopinated uh, API code with the Express.js. I mean, it's a plain and simple, so that's why it's popular. Runtime, Node.js will still be there. Deep Dino, Burn. I mean, they are just like a tiny framework, come and go but Node.js is going to be there forever. So these all are like surveys and what they all overall tells that Next.js is getting popularity and uh, in the front end, whenever we are writing code, we have to adopt the TypeScript because without TypeScript, you cannot uh, write any code. You must have to learn TypeScript really nice way. And uh, you, can, you can get familiar yourself with the Next.js well kit. React is still there, not going anywhere. And Node.js, Nest.js are good enough. Build tools, you can just still stick with the Webpack and Wit. And the Monorepo tool, NX, NPM Workspace, PNPM, Yarn Workspace are more than enough. So you got everything for testing. You uh, you can stick with the Jest forever. So these are like the popular trend. But yeah, these will change every year. We have lots of new tools and lots of ecosystem change, particularly in JavaScript. So stay tuned, I will be posting more and more.